Hurry up, just focus. Be quiet. You're going to throw me off. I'm nearly there. Okay, I think I'm in. Wake up, you useless oaf. What am I paying you for? Yeah, I can hear that whining jerk. Just focus. If your tiny little mind can manage that. I'm having trouble moving. It's a little sluggish. <sighs> I didn't think it was possible. But you aren't drunk enough. Well, I had the flask on me. Take a zip before you fall out. Or you might not be able to get back in. Pick up the darn matches and start a fire down there, will you? And that's how it begins. This is the Cavern Echoes, everyone. It's a point and click adventure game that was made in 14 days for the Adventure Jam of 2021. This is our uh, hero. And he's... Um, well, he died on this mission that we're in. And someone resurrected him in order to... In order for him to finish the mission. Now, this is the post-jam build that I'm playing. Um, that has you know a few more tweaks and uh, additions compared to the jam version of the cavern echoes which wasn't finished so we're gonna check it out together this is again the post jam version available on game jolt all right let's see the flask my flask lays on the ground still intact well I need a drink the flask has been added to your inventory I'll just take a swig uh, before it's too late unbelievable can you stop drinking for 10 minutes and just light the fire? Mmm, so annoying. Ah, let's hit the spot. Let's hit the spot. The flask and my trusty old knife. Mmm, it's a Swiss army knife, I like it. I'm supposed to be setting up fire for the other jerk. Alright, let's set up the fire. Better get some light in here. I'll just light a match so I can find some kindling. Yo! The matches have been removed from your inventory. Did I burn myself? What happened? What happened exactly? I burned myself on a match and lost focus. Oh Jesus. It's dark down there. I can fix that with a simple enchantment. Eh, there, you should now be able to see in low light. Oh. Now get back in there. This is the guy that resurrected me. It's not working. This is your life we're trying to save here. Put your back into it. Well, don't pretend you're trying to do me any favors. You just want the urn in that chamber. Do it right and you won't die in that cave in this time. I'm giving you a second chance, you ingrate. It's more than you deserve. Alright, go on. Just go refresh your memory at your shrine. You can't form this, his, the connection because you are growing dim. Uh, he waits impatiently for me to complete my task. Hey. Yeah. What do you want? What's wrong with my vision? Mm, you don't have any eyes, do you? Fool. Your perception is spiritual. You only see what you need to, and you won't have the acu uh, uh, acuity to read anything. Back in the cavern where you have eyes, your vision will be a bit of a mix. There might be a time displacement. You might receive items at a time when they were more pristine. But it won't affect you in any practical sense. Alright, so you had an enchantment to let me see in the dark. So do you have an enchantment to let me read text? There are also items in my shrine that I can't read. And uh, now, there's no such enchantment. Something tells that he's lying. All right, refresh my memory now. Just go over to your shrine over there and look at some of your your memory items. Mementos are one of the three elements required to conjure your spirit. The memories are fleeting though, so you'll evaporate if you don't refresh them. Sorry, I've forgotten. How do I refresh my memory? Uh, you go to the, uh, you go to the table over there. You look at the photo. I hate dealing with spirits. How many times have you done this? Mm, you're the first. Oh, great. 
I think I'll let you get back to staring uh, fiendishly at that wall. Or whatever it is you were doing. Just hurry up and complete your task so I can be free of you. Wow, he's so lovely. Oh, I remember when this was taken. It just, uh, I just rescued my, my what? I'm feeling stronger now. Are you ready yet? You can buy yourself some more time by refreshing your memories. But you're still on borrowed time. Ready for what? Oh, for God's sakes. Uh, I can't stand spirits. Do you really think your disposition, your disposition could get any worse as a spirit? I don't live with that kind of regrets required for this ritual. I have no anchor object like that knife of yours. No object so traumatic to hold on to and yet too important to ever let go. My spirit will leave this world far behind. That is, if I ever go. Now, get back there. Get into that chamber and get that urn. Alright, let's see this again. So I remember when this was, when this was taken. It, I just rescued my section. Glory days. Alright. Hmm, I can't make out the writing. My vision is a bit funny. Right, because we don't have eyes, we're just in spirit form right here. A rather ostentatious altar and a tome. I can't make out the text. Something isn't right with my vision. Alright, well I guess we're gonna have to go back. Oh, we're back. Oh, thank you for joining us. I didn't need a fire after all. The light shines on the only important thing in this cavern. I was right. This is the resting place of Teth Kamun. Kamun. Uh, Purpose uh, to be the world's first and last sorcerer. Nonsense, of course. There's no such thing as magic. But I'm going to be famous for unearthing this. He must have been a scientist well beyond his time. I'm keeping them matches, by the way. Keeping them out of reach of children. Oh, He's insulting me. Okay, my trusty... Okay, so if I click on the knife, I'll return to ghost form in the present. But I don't want to go back yet. I don't know how I'm supposed to get through this. You aren't. I am. So far, you have displayed an aptitude for lying on the ground. Unconscious. Quiet. Stick to what you know. The word you will raise my uh, uh, apprentice from his script. Eh, he's the key. It makes no sense. Nobody knows how to raise the dead. It must be... I must be misreading this. <laughs> Got the door open yet? This is delicate work. I can't do it with your slurring your drunken syllables over my shoulder. Be gone! Oh, he's such a bastard. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Blue, red, flask, clear liquid, green. An ornate cauldron. It's empty. A dagger. Huh. Okay. This looks like a modern stand. How is everything here so well preserved? The rod has been added to your inventory. Oops, it broke off. The rest of the rod is pretty sturdy though. Mm, it's a pretty sturdy iron rod. But he's right. This place looks pretty um, like pristine given the fact that it was buried for you know probably thousands of years. Maybe that's why. I mean, there were no robbers? Hmm. Keep stuff off the floor. What? Everything in here has turned to dust. Hmm, wait, there's a scroll at the bottom here. It seems almost, almost perfectly preserved. I'll just grab it. The apprentice scroll has been added to your inventory. Okay. That looks like it used to be a sleeping mat. Hey, there's an actual bound book under here. The diary has been added to your inventory. I can't read the glyphs, but from the structure it looks like a diary. 
The last page appears to be written in English. Wow. It's a short entry and he says he is being called to his master's study. Interesting. Uh, it's a surprisingly sturdy desk. Giant crack. There's a large crack across it. I can see through. There's a cavern back there. It's uh, pretty thick, but it's just mud brick. I could probably break through it with something that gives me some leverage. Right. Well, let's um. Let's ask the guy out there to read the the glyphs here, to read the scroll, because he knows to read the hieroglyphs. So, what is this? Hmm. And it supposedly tells the story of an apprentice to the great master Teth. Uh, just a sim just a single page. It claims to talk about an acuity potions for spirit. The master mixed the green liquid with the red liquid. Hmm, no heat was necessary. Alright. Red But it's clearly useless. There's no su there's no such thing as magic and potions. There's no such thing as spirits. And the apprentice clearly has no knowledge of chemistry to understand what he is writing about. It's probably not even authentic. The scroll is in too good of a condition. Uh, this will apparently improve my spirit vision. Maybe I'll be able to read. I should mix this up in the cold run. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Because I want to see better with, in my spirit form. So it's red and green. So let's... sorry. Green and red. Okay, the green liquid has been added. The inventory and the red liquid has been added. Alright. Green first. There. And red second. Ugh, the fumes. I feel different. I might be able to read text in my ghost form now. Oh, so that means I can go back. Yes, hello, am I going back to my spirit form? Oh, yes, we are! Alright, now if I can see better, let's read. Hmm, this clipping is about the cave I died in. At the end it notes that the archaeologist I was working for, Professor Seth Carmen, was subsequently cast out from uh, academic circles after claiming the existence of magic and devoting himself to the study of the dark arts. Man. So he did find something in the cave. The open page details a ritual that was used to conjure up my spirit. It looks like it requires a piece of the dead flesh, a record of memories, a piece of the dead life, that's life, and lastly, some kind of anchor object the subject has an intense emotional investment in. An investment of their eternal soul. Gather these items to form a shrine. Alright. So that's how he got me here. Oh, let's go back. Because I need to explore. So is this guy gonna help me at all? No. So it's the same. Can you open the doors? Nope. Alright, let's see. Let's use the rod here. There, I think I can fit through now. Huh. It's a coffin, but not as ornate as the, the others I've seen in this region. Yep, there's definitely a corpse in here. It's been preserved pretty well, actually. I think I see something that could be a knife mark in the ribs. Oops, his arm came off. Uh, of course I'm keeping it. The corpse's arm. Aww, uh, why, why would I have a corpse's arm? That's weird. My entire collection of corpse arms. Let's take this back to the archaeologist. Maybe he can tell me something about uh, the arm. Or about the book, about the diary. I'm not here to read your bedtime story, to read your bedtime stories. But it's not a bedtime story, it's a diary of a... I don't know, the Pharaoh's apprentice. That's important. 
What is that on my neck? Ooh, you putrid adolescent. Okay. So he doesn't want to do anything like that. But... Uh, we can make a shrine, I guess. Because we have... We have a piece of the corpse. We have the diary belonging to right to, to the servant and the dagger and the servant had the dagger wound so I'm guessing that dagger is the one that killed him and if that's the case he would be pretty emotionally attached to that dagger all right let's see let's put this the corpse's arm has been removed from your inventory all right diary there we go and now the last piece the dagger Hmm. This would make a suitable shrine. Alright, I think I'm ready to go here. I just have to say the incantation. Meanwhile... Yes? Ah, I need a break. I'm getting nowhere with this. Hmm. Where is that Melandrous pugilist? Probably passed out somewhere in the dark. I better light a match and see what damage he's been doing. Traipsing around in the dark. I hope he's not gonna kill himself with the match. The master said someone would come. I will open the door to make way for his return. Oh, oh, so that was the... Is he gone? I don't need any more of him. I think I see something that could have been... Okay, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, wait. So the corpse is still there, but we raised his spirit. The spirit of the servant. And yeah, as expected, he opened the door to the chamber. Because he wants to get his master out. But where the hell is the archaeologist guy? Alright. Epilogue. At the end of the long tunnel was a chamber. To the left I could see an altar with a familiar looking book. It was the same one that I had seen in the sorcerer's study. But more importantly I could see at the end, atop a pedestal, the urn I was seeking. Uh, the one I was seeking. I may get out of this after all. I was done with this. My soul needed rest. Too tired to care about anything else. I rushed to the end and snatched at the urn, I'll leave it in the secret compartment at the chest of supplies located in the central chamber. The cave began to shake and rumble as the center of the pedestal lowered into darkness. The chamber caved in around the pedestal and I was trapped. When I came to, I was pinned down, my knife on the floor out of my reach. The professor approached, excitedly blattering about the discoveries he the discoveries he'd made in the other rooms. Upon seeing this chamber and the book on the altar, his eyes widened. He snatched the book, the greatest find in human history, magic. He was going to be its father. And he couldn't have anyone dispute his role in, in this discovery. He left me there to die, son of a bitch! Taking my knife with him in case he needed it. So, so the sorceress is, is the archaeologist that killed me. Well, that led me to die. The apparition of the apprentice appeared to remind me my task is incomplete. His master had prophesied that I will still bring the urn to my own dark master. Also, they're, they're different, they were different guys. So that the Teth may form the bridge between the past and the present and escape his exile. Exile? The apprentice enthousi enthusiastically explained his master's plan to return to this to his time by merging his spirit with his former body. He'll double his power and build his own empire. But that, that, that would be in the past, in ancient Egypt. It seems he will not let my body die until my task has been complete and I am released from his service. He must be defeated if I am to free myself. I asked if this bridge would work both ways. Eventually, back on my feet, I staggered back to the central chamber. I stashed the urn in the chest in a secret compartment and revealed it to him in my future. He opens the portal and begins the ritual. 
my master, the guy who, who summoned me, he turns his back on my vile apparition. And with my last ounce of concentration, I shove him into the portal. With the loop closed, I return to my body's final resting place, take my final breath, and prepare to join my wife. The end. Aww. Aww. So that was the one. I guess that was that was the cavern echoes, um, with uh, with the epilogue in in tow. So I'm guessing this epilogue wasn't in the jam version, but it is in the post jam version. So uh, and actually there might be some some other stuff added too. But for now that was it, everyone. That was the cavern echoes. I mean the game looks great. Uh, I kind of wish there was more puzzle elements to it, but it was made in just two weeks. So you know. Um, that's that's definitely gonna uh, um, minimize the amount of um, you know content and gameplay that you know a, a, an entry would would have. But uh, yeah, that was it, everyone. If you want to check out the Cavern Echoes yourself, and uh, you can find both the Jam version and the Post Jam version on Game Jewel. Just see the link in the description below if you want to get them. I don't know. Hopefully, we'll get to see more updates for the Post Jam version and uh you know maybe get to see more rooms who knows maybe get you know more more imagery in the epilogue we'll have to see but for now that was it thanks so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up real quick and if you like what i do here consider subscribing that will be actually immensely immensely helpful if you could subscribe tell other people about the channel spread the word check out the back catalog too check out youtube check out bit if you want to see all the cool games that i cover and after that, please take just half a minute to see the ways to which you can support me financially so I can continue doing gaming coverage and more for a very long time. The best way to support me is to go to cryptichybrid.locals.com. The link is also in the description and subscribe there. It's a monthly subscription service. It's like Patreon, except it's better because it's not Patreon. And for those $4 a month, you get early access to videos, you get monthly support only live streams, you get to decide what I play every Monday, uh, every, every every single Monday, it's uh, the supporter decide the live stream, you get to check out behind the scenes content if you subscribe, you get to ask questions for future interviews that I do, and you participate in game giveaways. So there's tons and tons of goodies, just uh, check it out, cryptichybrid.locals.com other ways to support me you can give me a direct donation to paypal there's a paypal link in the description you can donate cryptocurrency to the pastering link uh, you can donate bats basic attention tokens if you use the brave browser and check out any video of mine on youtube or any post that i make on uh, twitter ask a big hobby, follow me there and last but not least you can use the humble store affiliate link just bookmark that and whenever you use it to buy anything from the Humble Store, you're not going to pay anything extra for the stuff that you buy. You're just going to tell that store to send me a small percentage of the money you spend there. So it's a very, very small thing that you can do, but it goes a long way. Thanks again everyone for watching. This has been the Cavern Echoes. And until the next time we see each other, don't resurrect spirits. Just leave them be. Leave them, leave them to rest. And have an awesome day.